Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. I feel like my forehead looks so big. The way I did my bangs today. Andy surprised me with some flowers, a red velvet cake, and he made matcha for me this morning while I was in the shower. Super cute. He even nailed the matcha. Next up is uh, learning how to make coffee. He left his phone on the counter. It says, happy Valentine's Day. Love you, girl. Love you, girl. We're heading to lunch right now. We're having lunch at this place called Yoon. It was recommended by Andy's hairstylist. So we made a reservation last week and we're gonna have lunch there now. And then I think I'm gonna go for a walk today. Try to get our steps in. It is freaking cold today though. It's like 25 degrees. Hopefully I'll be warm in this outfit. I have this Zara coat that I got years ago. Uh, this top I think is from H&M. Just wearing jeans and then my Chanel sneakers. It's cold. Hello. It's getting, it's getting warmer though because we've been walking. I am pretty warm now. lunch at Yoon earlier and it was really good. I would definitely recommend it. I actually saw that they made like the list for best Korean barbecue restaurants, something like that. Something that involves meat. A restaurant in New York City and it was really good. We only, we went for lunch and we got like we got the prime package for two and it came with three premium cuts of beef. It came with all of the bonchon uh, which was refillable. We got like two or three salads. It was so good. And then we ordered a side of the lettuce samset, which is where you wrap um, the meats in the lettuce and it has like the, um, the sauces on the side. It was also pretty inexpensive for the premium cuts also. So we definitely recommend it. Right now I'm just cutting the cake that Andy got me for Valentine's Day. This is what it looks like. It looks so good. Ew, my mask is so wet from the condensation. I got beef with cilantro. I gotta pour the salt in here. Look how good this looks. Nice. This is my first time having a, a bun meat without having rice. I'm so excited. I didn't get the pickles though because I'm healthy. But we got the number 13. Mmm. Very good. Compared to ballet back at home. Mm. It's kind of hard to say. Pate is definitely different. Um. This red meat is different, I think. I don't think we have that at home. Taking Andy out to celebrate reaching 200K. He's been going in on the reel, so I'm super excited. I've always wanted to try this place. Um, so yeah, hopefully he likes it.
are back home now. What did you What did you think of that lunch? It was, was it worth it? Would you recommend it? I thought it was a cool experience. It's like uh, omakase tacos. Area is cool. So like you eat in the yeah, area in the West um, Village. Yeah, they explore the best West Village. I thought it was pretty good. Um, he did the signature set, which already came with like a preset five hand rolls. I did a create your own, and there's like tons that you can choose from. I think if I were to go back though, I'd probably go back for like the premium hand rolls, like the uni and the toro. Uh, we didn't get any of that today, but I think um, the ambiance is super cool. I would prefer sitting at the counter if you guys can uh, make a reservation for that. Other than that, I think I would bring people there if they were visiting. Good morning. Just ordered breakfast from it's called Best Bagel and what is it? Best Bagel and coffee. I usually take people here when they visit just to get like, just so they can get their New York bagel experience. I got the Lox bagel with regular plain cream cheese. And we got bacon, egg, and cheese. And he got it on a roll. And then with avocado and ketchup. Heading to Herald Square now so Andy can grab some shots for his new video. Just got on a leather blazer a black long sleeve and then the aritzia effortless pants i've been loving these so much i literally wear them like every day definitely a part of my new essentials always got the all black going on and he's in the back those are his house shoes he's actually going to be wearing them out for the first time ever and then we're going to go to bergdorf to probably pick up my sunglasses <laughs> Andy, our next level chef right here. Just finished having dinner. We've been trying to go for more small plates lately and we only got three appetizers, which is good enough for us. Um, would highly recommend the octopus with the mashed potatoes. That shit was so fire. And then also the shrimp with the garlic and olive oil. That one was really good. That one's our second choice. The third one is obviously the last one, the mussels and the tomato sauce. I'm not a huge fan of tomato sauce, um, but I still thought it was pretty good. Would recommend it if you guys do like tomato sauce though. What you think? What you said. <laughs> Foods on the way back to get some soup and you got chicken noodle soup and I got um, clam chowder. Just bought a new porcha because I actually ran out. I think I only have like two rolls left actually but yeah we ate at this Thai spot after dropping off film and it was so good. Every time we go to Chelsea Market we always eat at Los Tacos every single time and Andy was like let's just try something new today decided to eat at this Thai spot and they had this special on the menu which is seasonal it was the roast duck like curry noodle dish so freaking good if you guys have the chance to eat there would we'll definitely recommend it before it before they take it off their menu and then we also had the ribeye drunken noodles also freaking bomb I think that was like the best meal I've had all week then we stopped at Whole Foods and now we're back home but uh, I think that is pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one.